Well, our topic today, I'm going to be joined by Sonia, I'll introduce her in a moment, is really a far-reaching one. We got the title of it's the resolution of severe, and you'll see why we go through this, agoraphobia, allergies, OCD, depression, and more. And there's even, there's quite a bit more, but uh, Sonia, if you would say hello to everybody. Hello, I'm here for you. <laughs> okay. Sonia, uh, if, you, if you haven't seen her before, is the uh, director of the Gary Craig Official EFT Training Center in Brazil. And she speaks both yes. Portuguese and English. And we're going to talk about a very severe case she had, which has a really, really nice, happy ending. But when you hear about how severe it was, you're going to wonder how, guys. Okay? But that's this is the unseen therapist. And with proper use, you can get a lot done here, very professionally, very well, and without drugs or any of that yes. kind of thing. So, yes. so let's talk about, this was a young man. You started seeing him at around 27 or 28 years old. He had severe childhood traumas. He was, you said he was cross-eyed and his feet were Talk about yes. that a little bit. That's that's just the beginning of it, but talk a little bit about that because it's, you know, people would reject him because of this. It's, go yes. ahead. He, he was a little boy, very ugly. He says this to me uh, because he has these eyes across and he has these feet that was very ugly and he couldn't walk okay. So everybody will look at him and nobody wants him to be his, his friend. And he was alone and he was shy because of all this. Uh, he was not beautiful. He was not charming as other kids. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, he has also this uh, rhythm of doing things that was a little slower than others. That some kids have. And when you have some, something different, and you have to pay attention in everybody to, you are afraid you are a little slow okay now just just to make make that clear you're talking about a slower rhythm that he was speak a little more slowly he would react a little more slowly yes. he's not really dumb or or mm -hmm. unintelligent it's just his rhythm was slower and yes. as a result of that slower than the other kids as a result of that he would get criticized ignored rejected Yes, very rejected. He and had even, no friends. Even his parents would do that. Yes, because he he has a, a he had a brother that was more normal. So the parents said, "Why, why you are like a dumb? Why you are so ignorant? Why you uh, are rejected? You are you don't have friends? Why you don't learn? Why you, the teachers don't like you?" Yeah. In fact, they would, the, even the teachers, if I recall this right, would call him a burro, which burro. means a donkey. A donkey, yes. Yeah. Um, and he, he starts feeling that he was a donkey. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, if I remember it right, his eyesight, his cross eyes, and his feet, where he had to walk, actually, I had to walk on the side of his feet, were surgically corrected. I remember that right? Yes, yes. But all the rest of it, the being slow and the not very attractive and and the parents and the teachers and other kids, it, rejection, 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 rejection yes. all over the place. Yeah. I'm right? Yes. Okay. So um, he was also, now you're in Brazil where they, where a lot of the skin coloring is more on the brown side. Yeah. But his skin was apparently very, very, very white, almost like paper. Yes, like white. And he has these allergies all the time that he was red. He had rashes because of the Rash. allergies. Yeah. Lo lots of allergies to, to what, do you recall? Ah, I think he didn't know because it was the allergy came and go it's like a psychosomatic allergies now. yeah okay 
And yet he had a lot of obsessive compulsive disorder, washing his hands. Yes. Until because until he, they actually they would actually get sores on them and yeah, and, because he felt so bad inside that he needed to try to clear outside. Né? So he started feeling afraid of food. Yeah. Feeling afraid of eggs, vegetable. He couldn't see uh a vegetable like uh, cauliflower or something. Oh, he has panic attacks. <laughs> when he, he saw uh, cauliflower or something. Cauliflower or carrots or celery or whatever. Uh, any the... of that, or lettuce. Lettuce, and, uh, yeah. And, yeah. And eggs, mainly eggs. He couldn't see egg, an egg. What would happen if he saw an egg? He has like a panic attack, anxiety, and he has to run away from this. He couldn't yeah. put his hand and couldn't eat okay and there was also both on his part and i think you said his to me earlier his parents part a lot of rage big time anger about all of this talk about that a little bit could you yes because he felt so rejected and he kind of started Rejecting himself. So when this happens, you start feeling a monster inside. And so he started dreaming with monsters. And so he couldn't sleep. Yeah, I, I you know, just an aside on that, I've dealt with many, hold on one second. Um, I've met with many war veterans Mm -hmm. who are literally afraid to go to sleep at night because of the nightmares that they're going, they expect to have. So, mm -hmm. I mean, and that's, you know, you can't, you, you got to sleep, but if you do go to sleep, you've got all this, this big monster nightmare penalty involved. That's, that's no way to live, but, and, yeah. and there was also a lot of bullying around. A lot of bullying. Uh, in the at home and bullying at school both yeah. places and sometimes they hit him the boys hit him because he didn't know how to defend himself so he has this rage yeah and so he ends up i'm not remembering this well so 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 correct me but mm -hmm. he went to school but yes. as soon as school was over, boy, he's right back home and yes. going to stay home. Yes. And Couldn't go. He, he, he's quite smart. He's good at designing computers and software and things like that. Yes, he's an artist. He has a lot of talent. Okay. But he couldn't go get a job. But the, no. the nice thing about this, this has a very happy ending in that all of that, all of that is now gone as a result of your work with him and the Unseen Therapist. Yes, we we, yeah, we start Unseen Therapist, I remember uh, working with his dreams because I asked him to draw the monsters. He didn't want in the beginning, but... Uh, as much as I was doing unseen therapies while he was talking about the dreams, he decided to really try to draw the monster, put the monster out. And mm -hmm. so we did together unseen therapies for this monster's event inside him or tigers or animal, big animals like bears or lions all these attacks and a lot of bloods and uh, we did the unseen therapies for the dreams that was a, a kind of metaphor of the hate the anger he had inside and so, so the allergies start going down all right, so uh, our audience, some of them are very, very uh, well familiar with our details and our advanced work and so on with the unseen therapists. Others mm -hmm. are not, uh, but but in essence, what we're what we're doing here is 
is he's having all of these reactions to the monsters, if you will, to the bullying, to everything. Mm -hmm. These things keep play, replaying for him and messing up his life on in many, 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 many areas. So what we do is we isolate these things. We call them specific events. Mm -hmm. And they're emotionally charged and we'll bring in unseen therapists for these events. Mm -hmm. And she does a beautiful job, properly done, a beautiful job of bringing peace to all of this. The monsters don't show up in the dreams anymore, for example. The mm -hmm. sting of all the criticisms and the bullying and all of that goes, well, it's not my favorite topic, but it doesn't sting anymore. I don't replay it anymore. It doesn't tell me I'm not good enough. It doesn't tell me I'm not lovable. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, it just sort of gets yeah. neutralized in a beautiful way. Yeah, then the guilt uh, fades down, fades away. Yeah. So, so you know, for, for our audience, you, 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 may notice, you may notice there's some essential links at the bottom of this video. Uh, gives you a, f a free ebook my intro to the unseen therapist uh, mm -hmm. there's a free newsletter you can you can join for more information there's a, some advanced mm -hmm. training that's available so you can can go there but so so you worked with all those things with the unseen therapist we got all this result but and i'm just going to say it again and you talk about more if you can all of that went away. Every phobia went away. The hand-washing OCD went away. The yes. monsters went away. The dreams went away. And on and on. And he's he's working now. He, yeah. he doesn't just work at home doing his computer design. He goes into the office with yes. all the he, other people. He starts he start now going to an office. Uh, in the first moment, he picked up a job and went home and do a home office and then he comes back to the place to to talk with the persons there but now he's uh, applying to a job that he has a good chance to get uh, that he, he was present in the office working there because he didn't go out before no no bus or subway or car or anything and now he's eating vegetables he's going to the gym because he never he was very thin and and no muscles and now he's i saw him without a shirt he's full of muscles and it's another person yes there's one thing we didn't talk about before this recording and i'm just curious about it his white skin very white. Is it still a very ah, white skin? I, I forgot to tell you something so important. When he first come, came to my office, his voice was like a, a female voice. He had like this voice. He thought, I was scared. I was like, Why this voice? And now he has a so male voice. It's absolutely different. And her, her parents said, what his, happened with your well, voice? His, his parent, his parents. His parents. Yeah. Right. His parents said, "What happened with your voice?" And because he started putting limits on them in some way, and he didn't have any beard, any mustache, anything. He was like a a boyzinho, a boy, a little yeah. boy. And yeah. now he has a big mustache and a beard and a lot of hair. <laughs> He's completely different. And is his skin still that white? Not, not so white. He's more. He's going out, so he had some sun. Yeah, so he's not so white. And but what's what he said to me? I couldn't imagine that I will have some beard. He didn't have any hair here. Any. Yeah, yeah. In two years, that <laughs> the the beard. It's so. I had cases like this. It's, it's so visible the change when you have a boy that it's so clean here and have some mm -hmm. some beer and the voice is a lot. Of, it's grave, grave. You say it's more. 
it's a deeper a deeper voice deeper voice deeper yeah voice. yeah all right okay sonia anything more you want to add i think the i uh, the, the important thing is he's uh, doing some videos about his drawings and he's putting in the instagram for example and he's re receiving a lot of feedback so he's in the world i think this is in, in the world makes, in the, he's yeah, in the world, in the yeah. world. yes yeah, in the yeah. world yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. this is why what makes me happy because he was so alone and lost in his bedroom yeah good Sonia, very nice. That's I. I hope people are really getting some encouragement from that and get more enthusiasm and and the like for 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 accessing this very powerful spiritual healer mm. within. We're calling the unseen therapist. Okay. Hey, and what is good that he is using the unseen therapist in himself by himself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Okay, um, everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you find it useful. We will uh, see you next time.